Dog training builds a language between you and your dog. This language encourages feeling of comfort and security, which can help in the prevention of inappropriate behavior, like growling or snipping at strangers. Dog training creates mental stimulation and encourages discipline and obedience to make your dog more active and well-balanced. Additionally, like jumping on others or barking excessively. Therefore, you need to be sure you're 100% ready to take the time to train your dog and be consistent. Check out these 10 basic commands to teach your dog. Before we dive into the video, let us welcome you to the Pets Guide YouTube channel. Here you can find more videos about pets, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. Let's get back to the video. Before starting to teach your dog's commands, be patient and regular. Not to push the dog too hard at the start. Find a quiet place for the exercises to avoid distractions. Make learning sessions short and simple. Make training exercises consistent and a regular thing. Never punish your dog. Practice at home or garden first before exercising commands publicly. Reward the dog for being good. Show him what you want him to know. Force will not help. Teach the dog new commands as soon as he properly learns an old one. Make training fun and entertaining. Involve yourself in training exercises, not just the dog. He needs a friend to play with. 1. Name recognition Before you train your dog any activities, teach your dog to recognize their name. This should be the very first step to instill discipline. It is easier to teach your pup commands and exercises if you address them appropriately. An obvious sign that your dog responds well is if they stare or look at you upon calling their name. Don't forget to provide a reward or affection when they get it right. 2. Sit Sit is one of the first commands many people teach. A dog that is sitting isn't running or jumping. That means your dog isn't escaping into the road or giving an over-effusive greeting. Sitting can also help an excited dog settle down while you get dinner or prepare for a walk. 3. Down down most often means lie down, with belly to the ground. Down is often used when wanting the dog to remain in a particular location for some period of time, like when you are dining with your dog at a pet-friendly restaurant. Down may be followed by stay. 4. Come The come command or recall can save you a lot of aggravation and frustration. You can use it to get your dog to come if it slips out of its leash, or to come over for some cuddle or playtime. Be sure to only ask your dog to come to you for good things. This way, it will always be happy to come on cue. 5. Leave it Leave it is the basic dog training command you use to tell your dog not to pick up something it's approaching. This command can prevent it from eating something harmful. This cue is best used when you spot something that may interest your dog. Leave it. Then, the command drop it can protect it from accidentally ingesting dangerous things. 6. Stay the stay command is used in many situations. It can keep your dog out from under your feet, or it can save its life by preventing it from running into dangerous situations. If your dog knows how to stay on cue, you can manage its behavior well in public and private. 7. Wait When you give your dog the wait command, you're telling it not to move forward until you give it the OK. It is perfect for keeping a dog from bolting out of a door, its crate, or the car. Wait tells your dog something it wants is coming, but it has to be still to get it. 8. Look One of the most important aspects of training a dog is making sure his attention stays on you. Teach your dog the look or watch me command so you can always get your dog to focus on you, no matter what distractions are present. 9. Heel This command is taught by holding your dog's leash in your right hand and pulling it on your left side while you are walking and at a certain point commanding the dog to sit. You also should hold the treat in your left hand and give the command heel in a positive tone of voice. 10. Drop it Training a dog to drop it means that it will let go of anything it's picked up in its mouth, like the leave it command. Drop it can save your dog from ingesting anything that is poisonous or may cause injury. This command can also keep it from chewing up your possessions as long as you are around to catch it. Aim to practice all of them with your dog two or three times a day, for 10 to 15 minutes at a time. With these commands, your dog will be off to a superb start. It's important to start teaching these commands as soon as possible.